Hi guys, welcome back. This week and next I had midterm, so I was like really stumped on what to do today. So I thought I'd make this quick little video that I think will be helpful to just about all of you watching this. So what I'm going to do today is show you a little DIY on how to make your hair grow faster. It's going to be like a cheap and expensive all natural hair mask. And then I'm also going to give you some of my best tips and tricks to growing your hair longer because my hair grows pretty darn fast as a lot of you have noticed. So this hair mask is super, super inexpensive. I bet about 99% of you have all these ingredients at home. And as a college student, I'm always struggling to find a recipe that I have all the ingredients for. But this one is so simple. All you need is two eggs and some olive oil. All you wanna do is go ahead and crack the two eggs into a bowl and start to whip them until they're a very light, fluffy kind of whip consistency. So you wanna whip them really, really good. And then what you're going to do is add two tablespoons of olive oil into that. And so what this hair mask is really gonna help is the eggs have so much protein, good fatty acids in them, vitamins, and that's all going to be awesome for your hair. Plus with the olive oil, it's gonna make your hair softer, shinier, and it's not only gonna help it make it grow longer, but if you have damaged hair or colored hair like I do, it really just refreshes your hair. So you wanna go ahead and massage that mixture into your hair really well, go from your roots all the way to your end, and then go ahead and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes you could wrap your hair up in a top knot you could stick like a shower cap over it or even like a Walmart bag or something like that if you don't have a shower cap anything will work just try not to get it on your clothes it can be a little bit messy after you've left it on for about 15 to 20 minutes you could go ahead and rinse it out you can shampoo after if you want to but you definitely don't have to you could just rinse it out and then you're good to go so now that you have a hair mask that's definitely going to help you out but you also want to try to implement some healthy habits for your hair in the process if you're really trying to grow your hair off. So your diet does play a big role in how your hair reacts, of course, just like your whole body is affected by your diet. So drinking lots of water is of course gonna help. This is one of the costless kind of remedies for just about everything is water. It's so great. And then you also wanna have a good diet as well. The healthier you eat, the more fruits and vegetables and proteins, the better your hair is going to respond from that. You also wanna pay attention to how you're actually treating your hair. If you're pulling it up in tight ponytails every single day, it's really gonna wear on your hair, especially if you wear your ponytails in the same position everywhere, that hair is really gonna weaken. It, even if you use a lot of heat on your hair, that's another thing. What I like to do is I wash my hair about every other day, every two days. That's gonna be best because then the natural oils from your hair are really gonna get the chance to soak in. If you wash your hair every day, you're gonna be stripping all of those oils. So you wanna try to keep it as long as possible and use some dry shampoo in between until your hair gets used to it because your hair will get used to it. And if you think your hair looks super oily, after about a week or two, it'll stop looking so oily. Of course, I do use heat on my hair, but I do use the heat protectant, so that is really important. But also, like I said, I wash my hair every other day or so. So if I straighten my hair like today, tomorrow I won't have to do anything to it. I'll just leave it how it was today brush it out and then I'm good to go another thing I want to talk about is haircuts and trims I know a lot of people say you should get your hair cut about every six to eight weeks but that really depends um personally I don't cut my hair very often at all maybe like twice a year a little bit more if I'm just getting a tiny tiny trim but basically your ends trimming your ends are not going to affect how your hair grows from the roots what it is going to affect is if your ends are very dead and dry, then they'll start breaking off on the ends. So if your ends look okay, I would say you don't have to get your hair cut that often. But if your ends are dead, you do want to keep them trimmed. The last thing I want to talk about is vitamins. So I did a video before where I talked about the hair affinity vitamins that I use, and those are specifically targeted for your hair. It has biotin in it, and it also has other vitamins that help your hair grow faster, be shinier, look longer, and all that. You could also just take biotin by itself, or just everyday vitamins, but vitamins in general are definitely going to help your hair be healthy, strong, and give it shine as well, depending on what vitamins you're taking. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this little DIY and tip video. Let me know what your favorite tip is for growing out your hair in the comments down below and we could all kind of share together. Also, if you missed any of my last videos, you could go ahead and click them over here. I had a bunch of fun 
stuff going on. So make sure to check that out. And if you want to stay up to date with all my new videos, just go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. Sometimes there's an extra video throughout the week, but that way you'll keep up to date and never miss a video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to send me before and after pictures if you do try this out. I would love, 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 love to see. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.